how's it going people? It is The Hoff here and today I am excited to bring to you something that just came on the market. It may not be available for you to buy right now, but it will be available hopefully by the time this video is released or a few days after. I'm not sure of the release date, but it is the Epson Premier XP6000. This is a $150 price point of a printer but it's supposed to provide you superior photo quality along with printing just regular whatever documents you're trying to print. So you can print loud quality 4x6 photos as fast as 15 seconds. That is pretty darn fast. And then you have borderless photos that are up to 8x10 in size and you'll be able to save your time and money on the paper by uh, printing and doing two-sided printing on here and it does auto two-sided printing so it will be nice to be able to see this thing in action so as you know which I can go ahead and hit the card up top but I have the XP 440 and that is a small in one printer similar to this but that was at the $60 price point and I got that right when it came out for beta test and review which is the same as this one. It's for beta test review and this is not beta test, this is actually under review. So I'm going to be doing my full fledged review on this and we'll be unboxing it going over the setup and I got another surprise. At some point during this video I'm going to be showing off an Amazon gift card and reading out the numbers to you guys and it's a $25 Amazon gift card so stay tuned at some point you gotta watch through the video to find it and this is gonna be a lengthy video and it's gonna be first come first serve on that gift card I'm just gonna pick somewhere throughout the video and call out the numbers and whoever gets it congratulations as for the other giveaways I have already selected by the time this video uploads for the football crate. If you like football cards, that's my other channel, which I'll have in the description down below. And I will have contacted the person through email uh, very shortly. And I will already have selected and then contact very shortly the other person for the Amazon Echo Plus, which is the... Amazon Echo that has a built-in hub to allow you to control your smart devices without buying the separate hubs. So, before we jump into this product, I just want to say thank you guys for allowing me to hit that thousand threshold of subscribers I needed. Now I'm over 1,500, and I hope this channel can continue to grow because as of now, hitting that mark and hitting the 4,000 plus hours you need to have watch time within the last year, I am under review for monetization to be back on the channel. So once that comes back, that's going to be a huge help to this channel because if you haven't noticed, I've already swapped out and put the green liquid into this machine now behind me and I've put in a new radiator of a 560 radiator and the future goals are I'm at $100 right now saved for points and various other things. Um, that I get and I like to reward you guys sometimes with points as well But I hope to continue and if you want to see this channel grow continue I'll put PayPal down below where you can send For my PayPal donations. I appreciate it. I don't ask I try to reward everyone But if you want to I'm trying to reach a uh, believe it's $1,300 goal maybe $1,400 goal with taxes and everything but Essentially, I'm looking at the Asus X299 platform, and I can show you down below some of the things that are on my wish list. Various things change, but for the most part, um, I decided I'm going to go with the Asus um, motherboard for the X299 platform, as well as the 7940. I kind of wanted more than 10 cores, and I didn't want to jump up to paying almost $1,800 for the 18 core, even though that would be really nice to have. I need something better for video editing all these different videos for you guys because it just takes forever on my quad core 6600K, but that's all I could afford at the time. And now with me being able to do a lot more to get points, 
and using my points for stuff, that's gonna help. So without further ado, let's crack this open. And then once we have it open, I'll go through the setup, I'll get the cord out and we will go ahead and plug this in and do everything that's needed. So if you guys don't already know, this definitely is a wireless printer. So you shall be able to print straight from your phone. You will be able to print from any wireless device you have. iPhones is really easy to print for me, just straight documents. And my wife has printed stuff from her Samsung devices as well. Now as for the photo quality, when I tried with my other printer, which um, is, if you look on my channel or whatever, you'll see I have a photo printer that was uh, the XP8500, just looking at it right over there. It is great quality, but when printing from my phone to that, it just doesn't have the best because you can't do the selection of what paper you're printing on. So I can only assume that this is gonna be the same concept. It's not gonna be great because you're printing from your phone and you cannot do selection. So let me pull out all these pieces. We have power cord and just try to make sure I get everything out so we can go ahead and trash that box to the side. Phone, phone. So I will say that this is for a small printer, more of a premium with it being at that $150 price point, which I mean, it's a good price point for a printer for someone that's going to print a lot of documents. It looks here like this might be some of the ink cartridges. And we have some more. And if I'm not mistaken, this uses the same, I think, ink cartridges that the others use. I just think it probably has better head for printing. So, Here we have it. And for now, I will leave it on the top of the box for y'all to see. And let's look at this. Congratulations, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so essentially this is supposed to save time. It's supposed to give you fast print speed. So it says 15.8 ISO PPM black and 11.3 ISO, so I mean that's pretty fast, and it has a built-in USB memory card slots that allow you to pick through your photos, so it has a 2.4 LCD screen, and you can see that, flip it around for y'all, right there, and what you can do is you'll be able to plug in and see the photos, and you can print, and it has dedicated photo and DVD tray, so you can actually print onto DVD that allows it. And then it's ultimate wireless, so it does iPad, iPhone, Android tablets for anything that is a smart, capable, handheld computing device. You can easily use Wi-Fi and print with uh, network Wi-Fi set up. And it is small, so you get a lot of capabilities in this small form factor. You don't have to have bulky printers set up just to be able to print. So also what we have in here is you have the configurations and you have the installation software, which for me, I will recommend that if you have the availability to use this, sure, fine, great, but I am not because one, I have to dig out my USB and then find the drive and everything's USB. And then I will have to plug all and do that when you can just go online, download the latest and greatest so you have it 
and it probably won't need to update if you download it directly from their site. So that's what I always recommend, just download the software, they all have it exactly on their site. So we have the start here guide and it pretty much just tells me what I already need to know. Unpack it, pull off all the tape, and turn on and set the configurations up. And once you turn on, you can install the ink cartridges. So let's just jump right into it and I will leave everything on top of this box for you guys to easily see. So if you haven't noticed, they put the tape here and they have the tape over so part of it is not sticky, easy to pull. And I will just set that into the box as this box will be going in the trash. My other printer is probably gonna go to uh, find my niece's room which is actually the run next door when she stays with us and she can use it for homework or whatever the case may be that she decides to use it for when she comes to visit which is quite often as she doesn't live too far and all I'm doing here is pulling off of the tape that is on here for shipping concerns so the stuff doesn't jostle around and break. So you wanna make sure that you get every last bit of it or else it may not function correctly. So pull, pull. And of course it had stuff right there. And then there is some on here, which if you haven't noticed, this is one of you two trays. And then another thing which I like about Epson, which some may have started doing, but my HP in the past did not, is there is a tray in the back to put your regular paper in for printing, which I just absolutely love that Wow. So, for safety, they overloaded this thing, but so far it looks fantastic. Okay, so now that all of that is done, what I'm going to do is we are going to peel this off and one lucky person First viewer is going to grab $25 from Amazon. So without further ado, it's going to be, I'll read it out normal, then I'll read it out alphanumeric, just in case you cannot understand when I read it out normal. So it's W-A-5-T-U-J-N-K. P J L M A 9 L. Okay, so reading it alphanumeric, that is Whiskey Alpha 5 Tango Uniform Juliet November Kilo Papa Juliet Lima Mike Alpha 9 Lima. So there you have it. Congratulations, whoever was the first person to actually go ahead and redeem this. Everyone else that got it's already been redeemed, sorry, I did what I could. I can only get so many of these and this was from points and I wanted to reward you guys and the rest I kept for myself. So, what I went ahead and did is I took the box away and let's go over the outside of this printer before we start jumping into things. So, what you're gonna notice here is you're going to see that on this one, it has similar buttons, but this one's physical buttons. The other one, you had a layer where you had to mash over and it didn't feel like normal buttons. Where this one, you have an actual button you push down in. So it's a little better quality. You have a same big, huge button right here 
that's going to light up green and that's for your power you have your home button you have selector buttons here for plus minus your up down left right your okay your back button that is I believe for emergency warnings right here and then you have your big lcd and so for this one it tilts as you see here and then down below you have your tray that easily pulls out and you can set down right there and it shows it does 8.5 by 13 and has a LDL slot and it normally feeds up and it has the holders here for the various sizes that you want whereas the one you want to print the side you want to print you put face down that is pretty much it for the front on top here you have this layer that holds down your paper you have your scanner here and you want to set it up so that way it's facing the top is right here and faces down and you want to kind of set it up towards that corner and then on the inside is where you have your ink trays and we will go over the installation of the ink trays and then on the back is where you have first off there's this right here and that's where your paper for normal paper is going to go and you will have enough to slide just a few sheets of paper in and then you have USB and you have your power selection right there this thing is pretty nice it does five different colors I may or may not and then we have a part right here that you could take out and that is for you to be able to take care of any gems that may arise which I haven't had any issues with my other printers so without further ado let's power this on and see the ease of printing on this okay so stand to the side so I can show you guys everything and we will pop this out and we will turn this Okay, just didn't have it plugged in far enough. So what we see here is it is asking us what we want for our language. We have English and it is now processing. And when the time comes, we will go over the ease of ink and they even give you a bag here and that's for you to put the top portions of the ink and save them that way you can easily put them back on the ink cartridges when they are done and you can dispose of them properly so the reason I go through all of this while we're waiting on it the processing and I do it this way without editing is for you to see the timing it takes to set this up so you understand how long it's going to take you to set up this printer the only thing that I'm going to skip over and edit out is going to be the part where I of course input my Wi-Fi password okay so install the ink cartridges for setup that came with the printer okay so now we're at that step and 
it has nice and neat. So without further ado, I will go ahead and rip all of this open and we will have our ink. So this big one here, of course, is going to be black. That's what you use the most of. And of course, be careful when you are cutting these open. And I will store the tops when we're done with the video into the bag, but it has a nice easy clip that you just clip off. And then for the black cartridge, you will just pop into place. the black cartridge going from back and you will pop it in the back okay I didn't have it in the right slot okay so it's just that easy just pop it through the back into the front and now we will break open the rest one by one and slowly we will have a mess of tabs and bags from each of these ink cartridges and I will clean these up after the fact, putting them in the trash and the tabs in the bag to save for later. Okay, so they're all labeled, and this one is PB. So you'll find your PB slot, you put in the back, and you pop down the front. Easy, you don't have to put them in, in any specific order. You just have to make sure that they go in, and you will hear them click in. This one is M. So again, pop off your tab, find M, Put the back in, push down on the front, and just continue that method for all of them. You don't necessarily have to have a knife, it looks like, for these, but I'm doing it for the convenience. It does have a spot. That one is C, so go up towards the front, and you'll see it just easily clips in. And we have the final one. This one is going to be the yellow, or Y, from what it says, it should be yellow. And again, pop on, have installed, so we will click over, install this highlighted yellow, and I shall let it do its thing, and while it's doing its thing, we will clean off this table. And it is a good time while it's doing initiating. It says, do not turn off the power until initiation is complete. This takes about 10 minutes. So we shall wait the lovely 10 minutes. And while it is going over that, I can easily get this cleaned up. So there you have it, 10 minutes, there's the bag. Everything has been cleaned up a little bit better and it gives you time to do whatever while you're waiting on this to clean up. And while I wait on this to clean up, I will actually read off some more stuff, if anything, from the box to let you know more about this printer since I just received it and have not done many technical aspects of this printer. So this is, it does brilliant auto 
photo correction, eye removal. You get pro quality. And it is a small and warm form factor. So the more I look at this, the more this says things dealing with photos and shows photos. So I'm not sure the more I see this, I'll have to look but it just seems like this is gonna be a small, powerful photo printer. So I might end up putting this in with my niece to do different photos. Yep, I think this is gonna be going to my niece to do different photos in her room here in the house. But it does Fast photos, convenient, two-sided printing, and it feeds from the bottom. So I will go ahead and leave this as the niece's computer. And we shall just wait. We are about a quarter of the way through on this guy, so please bear with. If you want, you can skip ahead. I completely understand because I'm trying to show you guys how lengthy this process is when it's done in this printer. And just as a clarification, I did just get this printer, and as I said, this is for review, unbiased review opinion on this printer. And I will give that to you guys at the very end. Once I have this set up on my PC, the setup is going to be easy for your computer. So for me, I'm not gonna go over that part. I mean, you shouldn't have any issues, but if you do, please comment down below. I'm willing to help out anyone with any issue you have. So yes, definitely calm down, comment down below. And I, I try to do this on a lot of my videos. Eventually, if the channel grows, I get too many people, it's gonna be hard and few, far in between. Um, but I do try to read the comments and I do try to help everyone in anything they need dealing with some of the products that I have. <laughs> so, like, there's one guy that asked about the Razor Base Station, which I currently don't have hooked up. I set it on the ground as I was messing with the computer back here, but yes, I am about to reply to him. And if he watches any of my other videos, that one base station does allow you, at least for my sake, to see my USB connected hard drive so I can import photos, music, whatever I have, I can import on there and it works perfectly fine. Let me shut this so I can see the progress so we're just under the halfway point it's almost there about 40 percent or so i would say from the tracking bar on it and so let's go over what this computer has back here how i'm going to upgrade this computer so my thoughts are first i haven't decided on what i want to do for hard fittings for um i should say the hard tubing fittings because i eventually want to go to hard tubing and use the uh, heat gun I have and do some cool bends and stuff with that but for now it is a mess of soft tubing and I am working on that and we shall see how all of that goes uh, in the future but you know channel as it grows as we get more stuff in I can continue to help you guys and I will like I said before in one of my other videos, be doing the giveaways as much as I can. That's why we got the Amazon gift card giveaway going for whoever gets to watch and see the first person that finds it. And then I'm also gonna be doing other various giveaways in the future. So the more videos you watch, the more people that are subscribed, the bigger, better the giveaways can be. And then I also have where once my channel gets ad revenue coming back to it and I get more ad revenue where I'm finally getting a paycheck each month, which means a direct deposit, I should say, that 
the YouTube pays me and I'm making over $100 every October because that's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, I will donate to a charity and the first month, I'm, first time I do it is probably going to be for breast cancer awareness or I was also considering either the first or second time asking Carson Wentz over Twitter and seeing if he will reply with a charity that he chooses and I will donate to that charity and I'll donate whatever that YouTube paycheck is. It could be something small, it could be something big. I don't know and over time it will get bigger and I will continue this for the rest of the time that YouTube and my channel is up and running. Let's check on this progress, guys. So we are 75% through. We are making good progress. And then if you haven't seen, I do football cards. So I'm an Eagles fan, of course, and I have various football cards, which I haven't even shown this one on the channel, but this is from National Treasures, Derek Barnett. And then I have some signed cards here. Nothing spectacular until we get to Sidney Jones. Eagles fan, of course. Elijah Qualls. This guy I had high hopes for. He played a couple seasons there in Carolina. And it's uh, Daryl Wardley. But unfortunately, he was just cut by Philly because he had some off-the-field issues. We have Super Bowl guy right here along with the rest of my Eagles but he caught a touchdown in the Super Bowl and that is Corey uh, Clement and then hopefully Sidney Jones again he does some spectacular stuff coming off of the injury that kept the most out of the season and then we have Matt Collins here which just amazing signature I mean granted it's not full cursive but it just looks awesome and I like when guys take the time to uh, create a good signature. Okay, so we are about 80 to 90% through here, almost done. And then I can go over and finish out the rest of the setup. More than likely, it is going to be asking us to do a few different things when it comes to photo quality, if this really does do great photos at that $150 price point. But while we're working on it, let's check out more of this printer and see if there is anything else that I have missed with this printer. Okay, so, what do we have here? It says, initiation complete. Move on to print quality adjustments. Click OK. And align the printer to get the best print quality. So, more than likely, we are going to need, well, I shouldn't say, we are needing some paper and I will see which paper it needs, but I have normal here and I have some photo quality elsewhere. So we will adjust, perform print head nozzle check to check print quality. And for that, we will adjust out Okay, so it is now working on printing out and we have already got the small printout that was the 4x6. The alignment came out okay and we are working on the full size for alignment and we will see how that looks and how it has printed out. These usually take a little bit of time making sure that you get the proper print quality. 
Another reason that I may or may not keep this is because although it has backing here, it doesn't look like this one is like my other one where I can go ahead and I can set this up to have top load. But let me look and verify. Yeah, my other one allows top loading on both. This one, it is similar form factor, but normally it says it, and I think this is just here for paper jam reasons or something, because you can pull the back out and you can gain access when you pull the back out and you can see various things. So I'm assuming that's what that is for. Let me go ahead and put it back in before I run into any printing errors with it. But I generally don't like ones that are like this that do bottom loading, only because I've run into issues with more paper jams when they bottom feed, because it, tables so like this one will shake a bit when they're printing and it shakes the paper from the bottom backwards where it's harder to grab. And when it finally grabs that paper, it has now shaken it to the point that you no longer uh, can pull it in where it needs to pull and it jams. So we'll look at this, we'll see the printer alignment and then that should be it folks. I will go ahead and I will uh, do my own testing and I will let you know at the end after I had some proper time to test how well this goes and by the time that I've had proper time to test you guys will see this video. It will be all on the same day and it will all hopefully come out well and give you a decision on if you want something that can print photos great but also be able to print paper uh, documents as well. This looks like it does both and it looks like, let's see. So choose a square with the fewest possible streaks. Okay. So for this one, it printed out and it says line one, you want the square that has the fewest possible streaks and It looks like you select that line and for some of these it may not be the same. So you just have to look through and take your best judgment on them if two are similar. Just go with one that looks the best. And it may be different because of the manufacturing process it could possibly be different for everyone on the line, so I'm not going to go over exactly which ones my selections are. Okay, so that was vertical. Now we're going horizontal and we're essentially doing the same thing, printing, and then it's going to ask us to verify the ones that have the least amount of lines.
Oh, and if you're curious, I did open up the front panel of the case. The glass is here at the bottom, but I opened it up because I wanted to show you guys all nice and cool, like that green, the acid green effect, and how that looks. So, now you haven't seen a possible idea I want to do with my case, but so for this one, we are choosing the rectangles that are not separated or overlapped. Actually, they all look pretty great. It doesn't matter what I select on this one. Okay, so there you have it. Lengthy video, but that is the setup process. And it is now time to go to setting up into the settings. And then once you do that, you set up your network and you do your Wi-Fi setup, which should be pretty easy. It's a step-by-step -step process. Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi recommended. And then the connection method. So you have Wi-Fi direct, you have Wi-Fi recommended. So normally Wi-Fi direct is gonna be if this can broadcast and your devices see it. You connect to this, you print to this, good to go. But in a normal household, you just wanna do the Wi-Fi connected where it connects to another wireless uh, router that you have within your house. And you do the start setup and I'll do that on my own because I don't want you guys seeing my Wi-Fi username and password. Okay, so we're back. So I went and I tested this out and so far, everything is great with it. I haven't run into any jamming from it printing from the bottom. The photos look great. Everything seems to be working amazingly on this. It does print out regular papers as well as photos. So you can do both. If you have one side glossy, one side need to have information on it. If you're printing out nice um, booklets for someone to look over as you're going through a slide presentation this thing would be perfect for stuff like that or if you just like to have a printer that is able to print out some family photos or something of that nature this is right in line with that price point of being able to take glossy photos print them out and you can frame them put them in collage scrapbook whatever you like to do this thing is perfect and it's at that 150 fifty dollar price point like i said and I will have the link down below for all the stuff that I said today. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I hope if you haven't already, you are a subscriber because I'm gonna bring more great stuff to you guys. And hopefully in the future, I can start getting more stuff like this, but being able to showcase off to you guys as a giveaway. And if you haven't already hit the uh, notification bell for all of my subscribers, please do so only because it lets you guys know when my content comes out because YouTube now is not telling all the subscribers that there's a new video coming out. So if you wanna know when I have anything new because my schedule is sporadic, that would be the best way to find out when I can have something new because I'm always out and about finding or going on jobs, missions and different things for my active duty army. And that will let you guys know how to get my videos when they come out instead of waiting and just it populating up at some point in time thanks to youtube's new algorithm it may not always show you that i have a new video so hope you guys enjoyed again this is the epson xp 6000 so 
It is a small in one printer that is great at photos, which can also print your documents. It is bottom fed. You have USB in the back here as well to hook up and be able to see your photos and print. Thank you guys.